Hello everybody! Today we are going to see how to deploy the Spark job server and execute Spark jobs directly from your browser. We start by going on the Spark job server GitHub and clone the repository. Now that you have checked out the code, we create a config directory that is going to contain the properties of the deployment. We copy and modify demo.sh that is going to contain the properties of the build. In particular, we specify the log directory on the Spark Home. Then, we do the same, but with the properties of the job server application itself. We need to specify the Spark Master URL. We get it by going on the Spark Master page, and we add it to demo.conf. Then, we point the packaging script to the demo folder that contains our configs and we wait a bit. The packaging script created the tar gzip job server file. We now SCP it directly into our server. Then, we SSH to the server. Create a new directory. And extract the content of the job server archive. Then we need to make sure that we point to the good Spark Home as we are actually using Cloudera parcels, we need to fix our script. Same, you might see this permission denied error. Make sure that the log directory is writable by the current user. And that's it! We just boot the server with serverstar.sh And we check that it is alive by looking at the process using the port 9999. Now, it is time to run some Spark jobs. We go back to the GitHub, copy-paste the command and compile the examples. At the end, we get a job server test jar. Now, we open up you on the Spark Editor and click on Upload App. We pick up the jar that contains the examples and give it a name. We can go look at the source code of the examples. In order to be executable, our class needs to extend Spark job. And then, in the editor, we just need to select the app and specify the class path. Let's run the pipe job. Et voilà!
From the UI, you can interactively play with different parameter values. And if we go to the Spark Master UI, we can see the list of all or completed applications. We hope that the Spark app opens up Spark for more users. More integration with other UAPs are on the way. Thank you for watching and see you at the next episode.